welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comment section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to either install or reinstall Windows 10 on your Microsoft Surface computer. The reason I'm showing this is because the Microsoft Surface is actually a different format than the original Windows 10. If you if you download the media creation tool on the Windows 10 website, on the Microsoft website, then it will not work on your Microsoft Surface. I tried it and the, the touch screen didn't work and same with the mouse didn't work, nothing worked. And then I did some research and I found out what was wrong. So this is for everybody that wants to reinstall or install Windows 10 on their Microsoft Surface. So let's get started. So first we're going to have to go to an internet browser. And then from here, we're going to type in HTTPS dash dash support dot Microsoft dot com dash en dash us dash surface dash recovery dash image. You guys can either follow along with me or I'll just put this link in the description. So press enter and this page should come up. And from here, you will scroll down and type in your serial number. And where you can find your serial number is actually right underneath the computer. It's in very small printing, so you might have to put it in the light. And there's only one number there. That's all numbers. It's right under the UL, US listed, I believe is the patent. So you would type this in right here which I am going to do right now. And once you're done that, then you can hit continue. And then you would be prompted to this menu here. And you would, of course, click the very first one, which is version 2009. You would download this recovery image. And you would let it download of course and here it says 40 minutes and while we're waiting we can go and make the recover recovery drive via usb so how we would do that is we would go to the type in here search and then we would write create recovery drive which is right here or restore point We'll just do create recovery drive. We need to enter yes. And then make sure that we do not back up system files to recovery drive. Uncheck that. We're going to hit next. Now it's looking for our USB that we have currently plugged in which is right here which is perfect i should mention that you need at least a 16 gigabyte usb drive in order for this to work so i have a 32 one so i will hit that 
make sure that it's highlighted if you have more than one USB plugged in. And then you can click next. And then here it will prompt you with a warning saying that all the files on the USB will be deleted. And that's fine. Hit create. And then we can wait for it to format the drive and start the drive. And I'll let that run. And then I will be back when it is finished. Okay, so the recovery drive is done. It is ready. We can click on finish, left click. And then here you can see that our bootable, I mean our download recovery image is done as well, which is located on my desktop. It should look something like this. It's a zip file. We're gonna right click and then click extract all. And then just extract. Let that load. Shouldn't take too, too long. While we're waiting for that, we'll go back to the We'll go back to the USB drive. And you can see it's 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 named, sorry, recovery. And then there's two files, EFI and sources. Those are the two that need to be in there in order for it to be a bootable drive. I should also mention while we're waiting uh, that you guys, if you guys need to recover anything, if you need to, you know, f reset your PC, reset your surface, then you can do it through this process as well. Also, while we're waiting, if you guys don't mind hitting that like button and subscribe as well and hit the little bell for notifications as well. I was hoping this was going to be a little bit faster, but I guess patience is sometimes needed for situations like this. Let's see how fast or how 11 megabytes per second. It's actually a pretty big file. There's eight gigabytes total. That need to be, hmm, excuse me, that need to be extracted. I'm not going to hold you guys, I'll just come back when this is finished. Once the installation is complete, you can see all the files are here. And once all the files are in the folder, once it opens, you can see on my desktop that there's a zip file and then also a file. You just highlight them all just like this, or you can even click Control A and it will highlight all of them. And then you can right click and hit copy. From there, we'll go back to the recovery F, which is what I showed earlier. And then we'll copy and paste it into the USB drive. And again, of course, you're going to be waiting a little bit longer for it to install, but it's fine. And make sure if it says replace file from destination to click it. 
to click it as well. And we'll let this load and then we will be right back with some more tips. I am going to mention that when I was copying it, like the all the files from my computer to the USB, there was a message that came up. Would I like to replace the files into the destination? You would want to click that. You would want to click replace from the destination. So now that we got the computer, we're going to put the USB into the computer. Just like that. And then we're going to want to hit the power and F4 at the same time in order to change the boot order, which will the boot menu will come up. So let's do that now. So one, hold it for a second. And then that will come up. And then after that, we will go to the left hand side, boot configuration. And then these are all the available menus. And hold on, we'll leave that on. We'll unmark this one, unmark that one, mark this one, move this one to the front. So you would just hold it and then drag and drop. And then once we get that into the first position and highlighted, don't forget, then we would go to exit and then reset now. And then we'll be prompted with choose a language. You can either tap because it'll work now and then choose layout, which we'll choose US. And then here we can either use a device, recover, continue, troubleshoot, or turn off. What we're gonna click is recover from a drive, which will reinstall the windows from recovery drive connected to the PC. So what that means is it will reinstall Windows from your USB. So we're gonna click that. And then recovery drive ID. I'm just gonna skip. So once you skip, you can fully clean the drive or just remove my files. So we're gonna fully clean the drive. And then it'll get things ready for us. And then recover. And that's basically it. It'll start recovering. It'll give you a nice fresh install. And then it will ask you a whole bunch of questions again just like the regular Windows 10 would. So Cortana would come up, uh, your keyboard, what your input, what you like, what region you're from, and then you just go through all those questions, type in, they'll ask you for a password and for your username as well, and you would just go through that and you would be done and you would have a nice fresh install. And the main purpose of this video was to show you that the screen and mouse and keyboard all work properly and that the Windows 10 media creation tool format would not work on your Microsoft Surface. And that's basically it. Thanks guys for watching. I'm How To Tech Tips. Keep 
Tekken on.